Hi Sagittarius, welcome back to my monthly zodiac readings. Um, this reading is an extension of my monthly romance reading, so if you don't mind, go ahead and listen to that first and then listen to your respective sign. For this month, you have gotten as your first card the Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords is someone that is um, envious, someone that can be very devious, and someone that does not show emotion very readily very very much into her head and into being very analytical so in your romantic life there may be someone that is um, very calculating and going to try to uh, come between you and someone new you and your significant other if you're already in a relationship or if this is you then it's someone that needs to uh, open up a little bit more kind of let the guard down uh, where her heart or his heart is concerned it's someone that has been blocking their emotional life for a very long time look at all those thoughts look at all those swords they have allowed uh, their thoughts and their struggles from the past to block any kind of emotional experience from their life so you need to uh, let your guard down so that someone new can enter your life because at this point right now you may have someone that's trying to come in but your thoughts are blocking them your own thoughts and your struggles if you are in a relationship there's someone that's very envious of it so you need to watch out for that so they, they may try to inflict some damage into your relationship the second card that comes out is the Queen of Coin. In this deck, it represents an opportunity, a window of opportunity that is opening up where your romantic life is concerned. So if you're guarding yourself from it happening, it may not because you need to open up a little bit more in order for it to happen. But there's an offer on the table for some of you, my lovely Sagittarians, and you should not turn it away. Don't turn it down because it's a new experience that offers some kind of promise in the future and it offers um, some entertainment, some joy in your life that perhaps you have been lacking for a very long time. So don't turn the offer away. Here it shows the Queen of Coin, but it could be a male. Um, there is no sexual orientation to this reading, so this applies to all of you no matter what your sexual orientation is and whether you're a male or a female. This card in this deck represents an offer an opportunity that comes up so you need to um, kind of analyze that if you will make sure that you're not letting a good opportunity pass you by if you are in a relationship you guys are going to have some kind of an opportunity that comes up for you that may be very lucrative it may be uh, something that changes your life and you may have someone a family member or a friend that could be very envious of that situation that's coming up in your life so watch out for that don't let that interfere in your relationship okay or hurt your partner in any way the last card that you're getting is the hermit the hermit is someone that looks within in this deck it's called concentration so it wants you to go through your thoughts very very carefully pick them up one at a time what have you thought of what is it that you want in a relationship uh, look in the drawer of thoughts and things that you may have forgotten because you need to concentrate think back there's something that you may want there's something that you may have wished for that's coming you are a leader therefore you have your little light that's shining each and every step but only one at a time in front of you and you will lead others that depend on you. There's others in your family or friends that that do look up to you. So you need to carefully choose your paths, what you are doing. Look at all your memories. Look at all the things that you have in your life that have made you up to this point. What is it that you're lacking? What is it that you're hoping for, wishing to um, materialize in your romantic life at this at this time? Try not to forget anything that you may have in the past forgotten you need to pull it back out of your drawer now and bring it to the forefront because there's something that you need to work on that you need to um, come to terms with in your life maybe there's people that you need to say goodbye to there's energies that you need to release 
There's things that you need to forget so that this new opportunity that has just opened up for you, my dear Sajis, can materialize, that you can enjoy it to the fullest. Whispers of Loves is telling you, do something for someone else. Give your attention to someone else. It's asking you to put your focus on someone other than yourself at the moment. Either someone new is trying to come into your life and you need to focus on that, or someone in your family may need help from you. Um, if you have children, they may need help. If you have pets, they may be uh, needing some attention from you. Maybe take them to the vet. Make sure that everything is okay with them. If they're older, you need to pay attention to them because they may be uh, reaching a point where they're going to move on to the other side and you need to spend some extra time with them. It's not all about you. It's about all of us together. We're all connected. So you need to uh, spread your time out amongst everyone, including your family, including friends, including co-workers, because you never know where that hand that you extend helps you later on. If you guys don't want a private reading with me, please contact me via my email below. And if you'd like to check out my sites, check out my links. Love you guys. Talk to you again at the end of October and uh, probably close to Halloween. Bye.